Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. If you're new here, I'm Bergstedt, but people call me Rocky because Bergstedt translates to Rockstone. Well, here today, I newly, I just bought a car for a winter, so this is gonna be my winter beater. Here we have it. It's an E46 320D 2 liter diesel turbo automatic. It's in rough shape, but it works. It has like 380,000 kilometers, so it has some rust. And a little dent here in the rear panel, broken rear bumper, and just overall, not really good looking. Close my window so I don't close. Water inside. Like you see here, 379,596 kilometers. Let's take a look under the engine bay. Under the hood, not under the engine bay. So, pretty basic plastic everywhere. I'm also going to change the oil today because it's been around 10,000 kilometers since it was last done so time to give it a new oil rust yeah let's make something good out of it First you want to loosen up this to give air so the oil goes down from the filter. So the drive shaft is out, 
and it's very important to mark where it's going apart because from factory it's balanced so don't forget to do that so now I'm gonna loosen up this here and then pull it apart And the kaipo is looking bad as well. As you can see, it's totally ripped. You can see through where it's not good anymore. Here we have a new one. Brand new one. I already took the splitter out, which was there, and there's no new splitter with the new Kaibo, so I'm using the same, and it's, it's in good condition, so it's okay. But now I have to figure out how to take this off, and then bang the new one in. Well, that was easy enough. I took the old bearing out with the press, and then I put a little bit of of how I was to it and banged it on with this you have to watch out to bang on the inner bearing surface so you don't damage the bearing itself and then the splitter is on so very good so next is to just take the old guy blow off and put the new one on so here's the difference between the old, very bad Kaibo and the brand new one from Mali. So now that the drive shaft is put together like it was, all lined up and for the new Kaibo on, you can see the arrow here and the arrow here. The arrow here must line up with a flange on, on this side and this arrow with the transmission. So if you install it like this arrow is pointing that way still and it's here, then it's wrongly installed. So, now everything is in. And the great heat shield here. I might try to fasten it a better. Or just let it be. Um, yeah. So the oil has been draining while I was doing the drive shaft. So now I'm gonna put plug with a new gasket back in then I'm gonna go to the upper side take the oil filter out change the oil filter and the o-ring on the oil filter housing and then put some new oil in I always use original uh, oil filters or or man, man filters because they're all OM spec. That's just what I like to do. But yeah, let's keep going. So I already took the old filter out, put the new one on. I'm gonna put a new O ring here. So first I'm gonna loop it up a little bit with oil and then put it here. And we tighten it down.
then it's time to put oil inside. I think there are supposed to be um, four and a half liters inside. Let it run and then measure how it is. Time to turn it on, let it run for five seconds and then measure how much So it's five and a half. Maybe because I let it drain for so long, it cleaned out most of the oil. So. Just a little bit better. So now it's time to... I'm gonna put some wax on the car. Maybe you can see it, but I put wax here and there's no wax here. So there's some difference. Makes a difference. So I'm gonna put wax on the whole car. So, wax on, wax off. Damn, sun, shine so bright. If, do you notice anything different? Well, I decided to delete the roof rails. So I've already done one side, and now I'm gonna do the other. It's really easy. Um, there are like tabs here, three of those, and there are screws behind that. I think it's T35 or T30. And when you loosen them, you can take the rail off. Under there, there are brackets like this. So there are two screws, I took them out, took the bracket off, and then there are holes for the screws. I put a little bit of uh, sealant around it and screwed the screws back in so it won't leak. But after you take this all away, there are like holes in the trim. So I just put electrical tape all the way to cover the holes and I think I did a nice job. But really easy and I think it looks much better without it. But that might just be my personal opinion. But damn, it's so much shinier than it was before probably a long time since it has 
a wax coat. Pretty happy with the outcome. So I'm gonna finish taking the roof rail off and then come back. So now that's finished and the final outcome is like this, pretty damn good. Well thanks for watching guys, that's it for today, this is the winter beater, uh, the E30 is going in for winter at the end of September so that's pretty soon, so yeah. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, give it the video a thumbs up, everything helps, thank you, see you next time.